Horoscopes by OnePKC.io, brought to you by Jeff Helkenberg. Hello Aries, this is your horoscope for the week of March 18th, 2019. Now of course, as you know, the House of Aries remains empty this week while your ruling planet Mars is still in Taurus. So continuing along with what we were discussing last week, chances are you're still kind of moving about your daily life, wondering kind of what direction you're taking and where it's going. Now, if you're already in a committed relationship, you're probably beginning to feel like there are a few doubts that are creeping in. Things may not be as pleasant or as wonderful as you had kind of conceived of them to be. And so there is a tendency, especially with spring in the air, to sometimes revisit and calculate whether or not we're happy with what we're doing. But one of the most important things is that we don't want to use the fact that we may be coming out of a sedentary period of time, the winter, we're kind of stir crazy, we really want to get outside, we want to be doing fun and enjoyable things, especially people in colder climates, and that can start to bleed into our relationships. So make sure that you're not misdirecting kind of that frustration with winter onto a significant partner in your life because, you know, that might be misdirected angst and you may be injuring a very valuable relationship to you. And so the other thing, if you're not in a relationship, uh, you're kind of irrespective of whether you're in a relationship or not, your chances are you're going to be considering the investments that you've been making in yourself and whether those are paying off. There is a time in life when you may feel like you need to choose whether or not what you're doing is right. And sometimes that can lead to a very big change in your life. Now, one of the reasons that there's some doubt here and that you're filled with trepidation is that your ruling planet Mars is joined by Uranus in Taurus and Uranus has fallen. And so there's a tendency with that union to create some problems in, in making things stable. It's a very tumultuous time historically. So look out for warning signs that you may be misdirecting your frustrations and anger onto your closest uh, companions. Make sure you're not doing that. You're definitely going to be focused on yourself, but it's not going to be a very focused week. I mean, even though you are going to be focusing on yourself, it's, it's going to be very difficult for you to sustain a positive momentum in terms of like arriving at a conclusion and being able to make changes based on the conclusions that you reach. So it's probably looking to be a sort of frustrating week for you. Just do your best and I'm sure you'll get through it. Now, for those of you who know your birth chart positions, here's a rundown of the other planets and our star. Mercury is in retrograde in Pisces. Venus is in Aquarius. As you know, Mars and Uranus are in Taurus. Jupiter is in Sagittarius. Saturn and Pluto are in Capricorn. Neptune is in Pisces, where it is joined by the Sun. And the Moon starts the week in Leo, will move through Virgo and Libra, and will end the week in Scorpio. So again, Aries, it's looking like it's going to be a sort of frustrating week for you. Uh, you're just going to feel like you're spinning your wheels. Probably not going to feel like you have a great direction. But if you can just kind of muddle through this week and don't make any big decisions while you're feeling this way, chances are things are going to get a lot better as soon as Mars exits Taurus.